Don't worry, Indiana. Tomorrow there will be water. There will be water here, and there will be water in the toilet. But for now, we have to bucket flush. And we were a little confused about why we don't have water. Let's see if there's see if there's any water here. Nope. Wash it under that. Uh, you can't reach that. Okay. Yep. One of the things we had to get used to is they're currently rationing the water in Bogota. So once every about 10 days, your section of the city has no water. So today our section of the city has no water. And so this is our solution for washing hands and doing dishes. Oh, you still got soap on them. Quick. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Scrub, scrub, scrub. But yeah, that's one adaptation we've had to get used to coming back. And I don't know why you're not filming me. But it was so fun when you wake up and Distracted by your own picture. Mm hmm. And then what happened? Mm -hmm. Samantha. Samantha. How did you want your picture taken? A squirrely. A squirrely picture. Okay, go. Squirrely picture, squirrely picture. <laughs> oh my goodness, such a squirrely picture. <laughs> Ready? These are strawberries. Count them. Which one's the number six? Look at all those books. Hey, you. This one? Is this the one you want to look at? It's an orange. And cherries. What's up, Chiqui Pequeña? What's up? Oh, one of the hardest parts about coming back during winter or what's known as wet season is that we got so used to having a washer and dryer in the States and now it takes like three or four days for clothes to dry. So we literally like line our clothing rods that have sun, or I guess these are curtain rods, with clothes. And then my other strategy is in here where we've got a heater for uh, our daughters to have a heated room. Oh, to try to get caught up on laundry. So that has been a huge adaptation. And this little one just loves having her craft table back. So yeah, when it is summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it is winter in the Southern. Well, we're technically like right on the equator, but it still is currently our rainy season. And so clothes take forever to dry. So even though this like ruins the aesthetic of our living room, it at least helps it dry in like two to three days versus four to five. So this is how we've been living pretty much since we got back. Clothes hung up almost all day every day, but we're adapting and we're making the most of it. So I tend to rotate the clothes. This is our patio where we hang them and I actually just moved those clothes inside and it'll probably take the rest of today to finish drying, but I'll leave them out in the patio for the first couple days and there's still humidity from the rain and whatnot but it gets them started drying and then I move them in where there's less humidity and a little bit more warmth and it helps them finish drying. So now I'm gonna hang the next set of clothes out here that I just washed. But really I have to do this rotation because once I hang these outside, it adds to the humidity. And so what was almost drying outside 
gets more humid. So I enter the clothes from outside before I put the clothes from inside or the new clothes that are really wet out. Crazy system, but it seems to work for us. If seven friends are learning to skate and one more joins in, then there are... Uh-huh. Are you showing Samantha the picture? I see you, Samantha. Hey, you, Samantha. We're not seeing it. Well, keep showing her. Point things out. What do you see in the picture, Eliana? I see I see me. glasses. Oh, is that you? Um, yeah. Can we color it? You can absolutely color it. Ah! Did you find your voice? That's a new That's a new sound we haven't heard before. Hello, sweet Samantha. Are you chatting? Okay. Go ahead and try. Ready? Get her little piggies. All right, get those piggies. This? Yep, this little piggy. Went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This has roast beef. And this has none, and this way all the way to home. <laughs> <laughs> so, should I give her pictures? There's these and little tars. You're playing a game? Who gave you this game? Um, I don't know what Daddy sent me. Whoa. Listo, lanza, Diana, te toca. Cinco. Five. Uno. Tres, cuatro y cinco. Ja, ja. Dame cien, porque esa es mía. Sí. ¿Estos? Bueno. People can play in my sport. All right, here we go. Okay, out west. Come, it's time to leave for our ranch vacation. But Papa, this isn't the way to the train station. We can't visit Uncle Tex by train. His ranch is far. We must go by plane. Okay, you're gonna show him your special books? <gasps> Our next door neighbors gave us these the night we went over to watch the game. Oh, Adventures of the Bible. The Bible. Ah. You have to hold it over there. The camera's over that way. A little bit more. There. Right there. Right there. There you go. There you go. Adventures of the Biblia. The Biblia. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Biblia story. Little crab. Can you find your favorite one? I don't know why he's lost. You don't know why he's lost? Mm. Did he stay with his owner or did he walk away? We, let me read it and, and see what happened. Okay, you read it and you tell us what happened. Mm, I think. And then care of them. Mm -hmm. There was somebody taking care of them. And no, they're not. Ready? Hello. Hello. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Uncle Colin. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Wow, thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eliana. Thank you. That was so special. <laughs> wow. How are you? <laughs> We're good. Happy birthday. Not yet. It's still on Always Loved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Romans 8, 38 through 39. You are loved, Eliana, not just by mommy and daddy. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. You are loved by God. Jesus loves you, Eliana. You are victorious, Romans 8, 37. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Romans 8, 37. You can conquer all. Mm -hmm. You can be victorious through Jesus. He's with you and he's ready to fight with you.